Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, where um, apparently the Americans want to cause trouble. My, I haven't been able to get the unrest down. Uh, it is because there's an election coming up, um, presumably at the end of this year. I think they are every five years. It's incredibly irritating, because I have all these military conflicts popping up all over the place. Um, but... The problem with them is that they don't reduce your unrest when you complete them. It's, it's just totally useless for that. Um, I, should, I thought I had another fleet somewhere. Anyway, the Americans declaring war on us is, is an annoyance. Why is it only 31%? Weird. Uh, I also lost a province. Northern China, which I had no opportunity to deal with. In fact, China in general has kind of gone a bit weird. Um, yeah, don't let your unrest get too high. I should have ended the war sooner. But uh, it should be... F the, one of the nice things about democracies is once an election happens then my unrest will be reset to zero, and then I'll probably just be able to retake all these provinces. No bother. Um, what do the Americans even have? Oh, they have something. Have basically no economy, though. Wow, the, did the British just scrap all of their ships? Weird things going on. Anyway, um, yeah, probably not going to be too much action with the Americans. Maybe some victories will make the people happy. Who knows? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I managed to survive just until January of 1950. Um, finally get a new government, which means I finally get some offence, which means I finally start getting rid of all this nonsense. There's still a bunch of things going on. Military conflicts. Um, 100%. That one, I have fleets on the way. Alright, this one. This one's okay. This one's okay. This one is not. Okay, that's an issue. Uh, I should have some more ships. About. Yes. Anyway, I'm going to keep trying to knock these down, try and uh, get everything sorted, and I'll see you back when I've done dealt with all of that. Welcome back, it's now February of 1951. I've taken northern Alaska, I'm pretty happy piecing out with the Americans, but I can't until I get enough VP, so I'm going to try and blockade them, because my unrest is going up again. Grr. Dislike. Oh, it's now March 1952, and they've given up. Stupid war. Didn't do anything. Right, I'm going to get all my ships back in port, and then I'm going to start some refits. All right, welcome back. Uh, it's now August of 1952, and uh, the shipyards are empty. That's not really what we want. Um, I have actually put the fleet on limited because... Well, sometimes when you update the game <laughs> and then reload a save, it recalculates all the finances. So I wasn't able to keep everything on sea control. So uh, everything's unlimited, which is normally what I would do in peacetime. Anyway, uh, in terms of the politics, uh, things are stable, which is good. The economy is very large, which you kind of expect. Um, but we're not crazy compared to i mean okay we're three times the size of the austro-hungarian empire but we are also three times the size of the austro-hungarian empire so i'm kind of happy with the eco balance uh japan's doing very well for themselves uh britain is not but then they just lost their entire empire so yeah um problems for them also the government is very unpopular at the moment uh, United States still is just in this terminal decline. Uh, 
probably because they got into that war with us and then I blockaded them. Uh, they're also at war with the Soviet Union. Just going to totally hamper them. So there's a possibility that the US is going to just implode. Um, they don't border any major power. Uh, we've already nicked Alaska off them. So we might get an invade option, which would be hilarious. Uh, but we'll just have to wait and see. But more importantly, it is time to do a bunch of refits. I'm basically going to fill up the shipyards. Uh, first on the list is the Invincible. So I'm going to load that up because it takes ages now that the, uh, the save is into the 50s and we've got hundreds of designs. Um, so I'm going to load that up and I'll see you there. Right, let's go. This shouldn't be a huge refit because we've already done the the gun swap for these. Um, although, I just want me to pick up and replace that one. Um, there's no oil three. Uh, this is a problem that I came across. There's also no char four and five. Um, I have deployed a fix for this in, oh gosh, the latest version of the mod. Um as I'm recording, which is like version 1.1.11.1, I think. Um, if you've encountered this, that you don't have oil 3 or shaft 4, 5, I think I know why it has happened. I think I have a good fix. But, uh, yeah, if your campaign is like that, then sorry. <laughs> There's no way to undo it. Um Okie dokie. Uh, these things are a candidate for a swap to diesel engines, though. They don't go particularly fast. Uh, one, two. In fact, we could put them on. Oh, I also don't have uh, AUX 5. I should look into that. That is possibly the same problem. Base, TNT4, radar, lovely. Oh, I'm also in inches mode, which uh, needs to be fixed. There we go. Right. Um, I think everything's looking pretty jazzy, to be honest. I don't really think we need to do anything dramatic to them. I could fix their layers. Uh, 120, let's go 60 and 30, 25, 15. Anything else we could add? Uh, we could add a battery system. Maximum range. Can we push their speed a little bit? Push them all the way up to 24 knots. They do lose a little bit of engine efficiency, but that's okay. 24 knots is uh, a bit more usable than the 21. And uh, yeah, they get a nice, nice little, uh, nice little refit. So I'm going to put those in and uh, move on to the next class because, as I said, we have nothing in the shipyards at the moment. So there's lots of things that we can queue up. Next up, it's La Motte Piquet's. Uh, this will probably be the last round of refits, by the way. Um, the... Uh, when we put them on gas turbines, these ones? Um, it's getting close to the end, as in we're in the 50s. There's probably going to be a war at some point. Um, against probably the British, maybe the Austrians... Um, so there'll be plenty more episodes, but in terms of actual time, there's not that much remaining. So I'm guessing that this is going to be the last round of refits. So they, they, they're going to be pulled in for refits. I have all of the end techs. I'm not getting Orcs 5. I'm not getting Oil 3. I'm not getting... And what was the other one? I, I did, in fact, already put out a fix. Oh, yeah, the, the Shaft 4 and 5. Um, the fix that I did should fix the others. Right, uh, the layers on this ship are a bit off. 
Uh, let's go 40, 20, 10, and 15, 10, five. there we go. Get some layering on the go, uh, max range, batteries. Well, that's all very nice. Uh, let's push speed, 32, 33, 34, 35. But we can push them to 34 knots, which is, I mean, these are old ships, but that's, that's pretty spicy. That is pretty spicy indeed. Um, oh, actually, these guns are the wrong length. Should be 45s. Just make those as long as possible. Lovely. Next, next up, it's the Falsons, which um, are really nice ships. We haven't seen them in combat that much, um, but uh, it's because they keep the game keeps generating missions against um, giant, horrible enemy battle cruisers, like full, uh, okay, full on battle cruisers. Which is a bit of a problem for a ship like this. Is a cruiser killer, not a uh, not a pure battle cruiser. We can gas the lines. Sure, why not? Um, new armor, upgrade their anti torpedo. Uh, all of the rest of that looks okay. Uh, triple base, upgraded shells, upgraded loaders, radar. That will make a big difference to them. Uh, we now can... Hmm. They already have good range. So I think I'm going to give them many bulkheads. Yeah, many bulkheads. Uh, batteries? I'll give them batteries. That boosts their range. Um... Yeah, just a little, little upgrade for them. Should make them a little bit more survivable and a little bit more capable. Lovely. Next. Next up is the Vercingetrix, which we can head into the refit mode for. Oh, why are you being annoying? They get upgraded, perhaps. I'll take them off and should be able to put them, plot them back on. Or not. Really? They're suddenly too big. Hmm. It's irritating. Well, I guess they're losing a pair of secondaries. I don't really want them to lose a pair of secondaries. Can I relocate it? Yes. Let's relocate them forward. It looks a bit stupid uh, being direct, directly over a casement, but it's fine. It doesn't impact on a turret that much. That's fine. Uh, oh, you need your layers fixed. 50 and 25. Radar Autoloader. It's going to be very similar to all these refits, I think. I don't think we have any ships left that haven't had uh, modern guns fitted, to my knowledge, anyway. Uh, this is a slow ship. You can have some diesel engines and a battery system. Uh, max your range out. Make you really useful in uh, getting loads of convoy protection, power protection stuff. I don't actually know if range in feeds into power protection, but it does help with uh, mission generation. 30, 24 knots. I don't really want to push it any higher. Uh, in fact, 90 is a bit low for me. Yeah, 20, 23, 23, spacious. 
there you go make them a pleasant place to serve all right next next up it's the octofunnel it's the galois shouldn't need to do too much to them they've already had quite a few upgrades uh, diesels extra range one, two, one, five. They've already been speed boosters, I seem to remember. Triple bells, long lances, auto loaders, radar, uh, inner layers. Yeah. Nice. Very straightforward. Next. And next are the Masseners, which we can have a wee little look at. They're slow. Let's give them some diesels. Pick you up and... Why? What? Why don't you fit? Yes, you do fit. You did. Moaning for no reason. Um, Group 3 to bottom 2. That's a Big survivability upgrade. Uh, TT4 and triple plays. Gen 3 radar. Um, your layers are a bit weird. And I don't think your inner layers were done. A bit more on your secondary. Battery, we can fix your low range issue, and then we can make you a little bit faster. You've got loads of engine efficiency. No, 26 is too much, but we get them to 25 knots. Some guns have a poor sector of fire, do they? Oh, all the important ones seem okay to me. Nice little upgrade for the messengers. Lovely. Next. All right. Next up are the Fortune class battle cruisers. Now these are using a very odd um, gun. They're using the really. The, they're using the three hundred and fifty millimeter. Now. We don't really have many ships in the fleet using that caliber. So, what I'm thinking... If this would stop whinging at me, thank you, is upgunning them, potentially. So, these are, well, which is going to give me more weight. 95, 94, 90... Okay, let's go for diesels then. Uh, put all the other upgrades on first. Uh, sorting out their layers. Because what I'm thinking is, rather than a 350, 56, we replace this with the more or less ubiquitous uh, 400, 55. Now, they are quite a lot bigger and heavier. But they are significantly more capable. The only problem is space, because this hull is not enormous. So what I'm thinking is, rather than A, B, X twins, we go for triples. And go for an A, 
X triple layout. There you go. Somewhat different, but that means that they have the same guns that we're using on pretty much all our other ships, which is pretty nice. They don't have a weird caliber. And yeah, they they should get a little bit more shootiness out of that. Um, same number of guns, but they're bigger. Uh, the layout's a little odd, but there's no penalty to using triples now, so um, I think I think it works. Yeah, why not? AX triple. All right. Uh, next. All right. Next up are the ocean. Which is going to be a bit, a little bit of a bigger refit because um, they're going from Mark threes to Mark fives, but that does also mean they're getting a significant upgrade in firepower. Um, is it the enlarged that these ones fit on? Yes. Dun, 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 dun. Okie dokie, and those are going to be 55s. Lovely. Okay, radar. Auto two loaders. Four triple base. Uh, upgrade the armor. Uh, probably diesels for these? That gets me to 99. Yeah, diesels. Which will also help with their range issues. Wow, they're going to be in tried off for a while. Also, diesels are stupidly expensive. But we have so much money. Um, literally tons. <laughs> I think even if I was going super negative on the uh, daily budget, I'd still have plenty of money. I think that's it for them, actually. Just just a cheeky, cheeky wee little, little upgrade. Next. All right, next up is the Valorers. Now, they've already been upgraded a fair bit, but they, again, are one of the ships that has these really weird guns. They have the 350 millimeter. So I'm also thinking a little bit more of a radical refit for them and swapping them to 400 millimeter guns, which apparently I love. Um, but they have been pretty good for us. Um, so we do have plenty of spare displacement. I think I might have to lose... Well, it's, she's only back in twin... Twin uh, secondaries here. So if I take that pair off and get triple 155s, because I'm thinking I'm going to have to lose this pair. Yeah. Um, and then take off those two and grab a quad because we can make that a 455 caliber weapon very nice we can then uh, port the armor over basically. And then delete the forward super firing pair and put on the forward quad and there we go. We've gone from eight 350 millimeter guns to eight 400 millimeter guns and from six 155s to six 115s. So 155, sorry. Um, yeah, fantastic. And we still have a little bit of weight left to improve their range. Nice. Next. 
All right, next up is the Jurien, of which there are only two of these things because they were an insane price. Um, I have since fixed the price of the towers. They are still expensive, but... Um, yeah, they, they, they were getting ridiculous, the price of these ships. Anyway, uh, we're going to fit them with gas turbines. Why not? Um, upgrade their armor. Uh, upgrade the propeller. Then we have the top end shells. Autoloaders. Gen 3 radar. Yeah, seems. seems good. I mean, I will do that, but it's not going to make any difference because uh, the game doesn't save that. Uh, what do I do with a spare displacement? I would actually quite like some more of these. I mean, they have proven themselves, and they're now no longer a stupid price compared to every other light cruiser I've got. I know 500 million is expensive, but um, like I might actually build some more of these? Hmm. Uh, especially if I give them many bulkhead... Maximum bulkheads? Maximum bulkhead version. Nope. Nope. Yeah, I'm going to save this. And then I think I'm going to build a, just a couple of more of these. I'm going to copy... If you don't know how to do that, if you say... If you do a refit and then you uh, copy the design using this button, which is currently grayed out, once I hit this, it'll save the design. I can hit this, I can give it a new name, and then um, I can I can build copies of my refit, basically. Yeah, do you know what? I'm going to do it. Um, I will see you once I have done that, because it's going to take forever to like think about it. Okay, so we now have 10 additional light cruisers under construction of the Prote class, but these are the same as the refitted uh, Jurians. Um, which I think is fine. I mean, the Jurians were a very experimental design anyway. And now that they've been properly tested and all the rest of it, we can we can get going. So I'm still positive by a stupid amount. So yeah. Um, that is, however, me pretty much up to my shipbuilding cap. Um, as ships come off, I will put more refits on and if there's any news uh, I'll, I'll let you know next turn for a refit is the Venga which has been a pretty steady steady ship for us uh, they're not fast it's probably their biggest problem uh, We're already in diesel one. Let's get him a diesel two. That saves quite a lot of weight. I think. Can we push speed on them? That is the problem with them. Yeah, I can't push it that much. Get an extra knot. Yeah, that's too low. Get an extra knot out of them. Uh, the other thing we could do, get 488. Yeah, it's triple turret.
is if I can't make them fast, I can make them shootier. So currently they they had ten guns before I started doing this. Why are you complaining? Hmm. So weren't even symmetrical. I know people in the comments will have been telling me about that for ages. So let's fix that. Um, so they were ten guns. Let's upgrade them to 12. Let's dump this turret completely, shortening the citadel, and allowing me to pop on the back a torpedo launcher, which will give them... I mean, they already have the underwaters, but that will give them a little bit of extra torpedo attack. So just upgrade their firepower in general. Um, yes, I think so. A little bit more significant of an upgrade than I was expecting the Vengas to go through, but... Sure, six months, sounds good to me. Next in for refit are the Dantons. Which I will attempt to do. This could be a little bit annoying. Actually, not too bad. Actually, not too bad. Uh, let's become the 55s. Yeah, very nice. Very nice indeed. Hmm. Okie dokie. Gen 3 radar. Auto turret radars. Get triple base. Goodness. All of this was already pretty good. Uh, I reckon. Nope. Hmm. Let's go gas turbine. Mm, One percent over. Insanely thick armor or something? Hull bulkheads fuel. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can't really cut down on any of that. Turret. Okay, maybe these guys just need the default length guns. Yeah, that's what the problem is. Uh, they can just have the 52s. I'll Pretend that they're 55s, even though they're not. And yeah, into refit you go. Next up, I'm going to bring in the Saigons. Uh, now, the. No, they are triples. I thought they looked like twins from afar. Rather than two. Well, I don't know. We'll have a look. Uh, it's already on diesel, so diesel two. Uh, break the armor. Triple base, please. Oxygen. Loaders. Upgrade radar. Yeah, we've got a little bit remaining. Hmm. It looks a bit weird, the two quads on the back. What I'm thinking is. Oh, no, I'm not doing that. Replacing them with a single quintuple launcher and replacing the guns with two tens. Uh, two ten triples, I mean. Um, just like we did. Oh, fuck off. Just like we did with the fingers. I suspect it's going to be harder with these. Hmm. 
We'll give them the same firepower as a Venger. Um, which is potentially quite spicy. But they are too heavy by 3%. Hull, number one. Followed by turrets. Followed by bulkheads. Followed by armor on turrets. So it is the turrets making them heavy. So they're going to keep their jewels. And with that spare displacement, maximum bulkheads, standard range, and not, not that much extra speed, <laughs> a couple of extra knots. I think that's a bit. That's that's that keeps the balance between them and the Vengas a bit better. I think. All right, uh, I'll save that, and that'll probably bring me back up to capacity. Next in are the Duguay Tourans. Uh, they've never been refitted. But they were pretty modern ships when they were built. Um, gas turbines. Armour. The auto overs. The radar. And that's kind of it. And that saved a lot of weight on them. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> People are going to be shouting at me. How dare you miss fitting Conning Tower on them? There we go. I fitted Conning Tower armor on them. You happy? You happy now? Right, let's. Give them some fun upgrades. There we go. That'll do. And uh, that's a very quick, quick little refit. Uh, I think we could do with a new destroyer. Um, slash light cruiser. We've got this fairly large advanced destroyer. I don't think I have built on it already, have I? When was the last time I built a destroyer? Was it really? Uh, no, it was the Senegalis. Which was on this hull. I'm an idiot. I'm going to build some more of those. Because <laughs> we need more destroyers everywhere. <laughs> Oops, I'm going to order some more Senegalis. <laughs> Class. These ones. Because they are still a good design, I think. Yes, they are. Um, and they're not up for refitting soon. So, yeah, those will do fine. I think, how many more shall I order? We've got 125 destroyers currently. I'll order like 25 of them. All right, so here we have all the new Senegalis uh, class destroyers under construction. Again, this is mostly to help with the fact that the Empire is a bit bigger and I don't necessarily have, for instance, I don't have any power projection down here. Um, it just, I'll just let the computer spread them out. It tends to do a fairly good job of it. Politics-wise, unrest has gone up again because we conquered somewhere. <sighs> um, it just doesn't seem to go down, which is a bit annoying. Um, otherwise, things seem relatively stable. Apart from the US, the economy is still in the dumps because they're at war with the Soviet Union, but the war isn't ending, so... What are you supposed to do about that? Oh, uh, dear me. Next up, it's the Dokkenwa-class destroyers, which... Yeah, we should be able to... Oh. <coughs> Excuse me, going to sneeze. Oh, dear me. Uh, would they get a bit of gas to them? Would. Um... Turbine. Um, could potentially give them a 
quintuple launcher rather than a double uh, quad, I mean, and we could give them a triple 130. Fore and aft, give them a little bit more firepower. Puts them 1% over. Cramped. You're a destroyer. Or, or, I know someone's going to tell me in the comments, take away a funnel. I'm just going to reposition that funnel. Um, yes, if I take away funnel, because we don't need it, because we're at 300% efficiency. Um, yeah, that works. Uh, we could even give them a little bit of armor. What's the most armor you can put on a destroyer? 20. 20 millimeters of armor. Nice. Um, can make them armored destroyers if we want. Ah, oh, not that armored. A little bit of armor on them might make them a little bit more survivable. Sure, why not? Uh, right, save you and next refit because we've got a bunch of the refits are now done. Next up is the Trickalors coming in for their fifth refit, I think. Um, yeah. Give them some diesels, why not? Give them plenty of range. Um, base, two loaders, Gen 3 radar. Uh, fix their layers. Battle Right, next is the Britannia, which is going to be annoying, isn't it? It's got a red, some parts are badly placed. Thing. Okay, good. I can just pick it up and pop it down, back down again. That's perfect. Diesel 2. Drop base. Basically serving as a weird sort of cruiserish role, aren't they? Right, there you go. Have another funnel, <laughs> so I can push your speed more to twenty-seven knots. Lovely. <laughs> okay. Next up, it's the Musketeers. Believe it or not. Um, they are in for a little refit. Not much of one, just a little, little baby refit. Okay. Um, there shouldn't be too much we need to do to them. Gen 3 radar, or we can get them a superior auto loader, get them triple base. We can upgrade their armor to modern two. Mm, potentially, we could change their engines. Gas turbine? Yeah, gas turbine. It gives me a bunch of displacement back. Enough to get the maximum bulkheads. Spicy. And a battery system? And a battery system. All right. Nice. That it doesn't sound like much, but that is a like upgrading their range and their bulkheads is pretty pretty nice actually. 
Okay. Uh, next in, the companions. I'll just go load those up. Right. I don't know why my shortcut to start the recording wasn't functioning, but it should be working now. Right. Refit. Um... Yeah, we can pop you on the gas turbine too. Upgrade your armor. Your propellant. Reload and rangefinder. And then you too can have. Maximum bulkheads and a battery system. And a little bit of extra range. Lovely. Very nice. Next up are the Leon Gambettas, which, to be honest, I could do with some more of these. They're a pretty nice. Um, they're a pretty nice ship. Um, Some more cruiser, well, super cruisers, basically. So I think I'm going to upgrade them to many bulkheads because I don't think I can get maximum. No, I'm going to upgrade them to many bulkheads, and I'm going to get them refitting. But I'm then going to do what I did with the Juriens, and I'm going to copy them and build some more, basically. So I'll see you on the fleet screen. All right, so here are the 10 Bellicurs class heavy cruisers, which are Leon Gambettas, but the refit version copied um, underway, which is absolutely fine. Um, next is going to be the Verites. Um, in fact, we're not far off. Oh no, the Paris is way down here. I was going to say, we might end up refitting everything, but probably not. Um, once I get to ships that already have like all the stuff, like all the components, then it's probably not too much in the refitting. Um, how are we looking war-wise? Yep, still pretty stable. Um... We have an absolutely insanely enormous fleet compared to everyone else. The Russians don't even have one. Oh, dearie me. Oh, -ho, I got a mission to attack Lebanon, and uh, the British do not like that. So they have declared war on me. The cheeky little buggers. Okay, well, that conquest is 100%. Well, war with the British is certainly interesting. Um, I should have, yes, a very large fleet right here that is going to go and finish off New Providence, which is a bit annoying that I don't have all of my ships available, but that should still be a pretty large fleet. Uh, yeah, half, half a million tonnes. And then this fleet that's attacking Lebanon can then move on and attack. Well, probably I want to finish off um, this little bit of land here. This Bahrain, I think. Al Manama. Grab that. Um... And then, whilst I could attack India, I will probably hit Australia instead. <laughs> Liberate Australia. Now, I am actually going to have to fight every battle because my unrest is high. Um, well, high. It, it's not zero, and it doesn't seem to want to go down. Uh, so, basically, I know I'm going to be conquering stuff, so I need to do battles, basically. Okie dokie. So, a uh, naval invasion of New Providence has been ordered. Once these guys finish the, the job there, I'll move them on to take Newfoundland, and that will basically free them up. I already have power projection in 
the Channel and the North Sea, although I don't think I have enough in the North Sea. Um, so this lot will probably see if they can take Ireland. Um, classic French strategy. <laughs> right, let's have a look at these battles. The S3A versus the Donegal. Okay. Uh, what else we got? The Orthopedics against the Renown. Well, we've got to try that one, haven't we? <laughs> Orthopedics. Love it. Right. Uh, weather is shite. But a chance to try out the goal. It's the bobbing around fixes itself. Secondary gun. Very good. Hmm. All forwards. Wads. Interesting. Very front heavy, that ship. Uh, unless they balanced it out with the en engines, of course. Running. That's good. More flooding. A big guns, whatever they're using. Four hundred sixty two millimeter. Ow. I don't want to edge away from them a little bit. Blew off some more secondary guns. Oh my word. Well, one of the reasons all forward batteries weren't especially popular historically was that if you lost your magazine, then uh, you lost all of your firepower. The second turret is still there, but has no ammunition. Now we can move in for the kill. Let's have a look at you properly. Oh, virtually no armor. That's not what you want. Yeah, should be able to finish him off, no problem. down.
Okay, I need to get closer. <laughs> there you go. That should put them down. Lovely. Well, solid victory for the orthopedics. Very nice. That renowned class, which is not cheap, dealt with quite well there. Well, I think I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Bye for now.